Hello, Prospective Clarion participants. This is a recorded session of our, our info session for the Clarion Interprofessional Case Competition, specifically geared towards national teams who are thinking of participating in our 2024 case competition. My name is Abigail Avery, and I am the Health Sciences Administrative Coordinator for CHIP. And I am Natalie Platt. I'm the Student Engagement Coordinator for CHIP, which stands for the Center for Health Interprofessional Programs, and it's the University of Minnesota Department that supports Clarion. Today, we just did some introductions, um, and in this presentation, we'll talk about how the competition is going to work, our event timeline and logistics for the competition. We'll talk about past participant testimonials and some experiences that you can anticipate gaining from this competition. Um, and then since this is a recorded session, we won't have a live Q&A, but we really invite you to um, reach out and ask any questions after watching this video. So to talk a little bit about Clarion, Clarion is a student organization at the University of Minnesota, and it's housed within the Center for Health Interprofessional Programs, otherwise known as CHIP. Um, and CHIP is an interprofessional community that's focused on creating co-curricular and interprofessional experiences for students that are students which are all student driven. Um, and we really encourage students to become agents of change in the healthcare system. So Clarion specifically, again, it's a student-driven organization and their mission is to develop a future health workforce that creates innovative cross-sectorial solutions for the most complex health issues through interprofessional leadership, teamwork, and communication. Clarion envisions a world in, with, in which healthcare and resources are de-siloed, Health professionals partner with diverse communities to create patient-centered care and help outcomes improve both inside and outside of the clinical setting. And some of their pillars are leadership, interprofessional teamwork, communication, patient safety and quality, and patient-centered care. So as Abigail mentioned, Clarion is a student organization and they facilitate multiple opportunities for students to collaborate interprofessionally throughout the year. But the thing that they are most well known for and the thing that you all here are here to learn about is the case competition that they host each spring. So the national case competition always takes place on the University of Minnesota Twin Cities campus in Minneapolis every April. There are two rounds to the competition. There's a preliminary round in the morning and a final round in the afternoon. Typically, we'll have somewhere between 10 and 15 teams that will all present to panels of judges in that preliminary round, and then the top three teams from that round will advance to the final round where they present again in front of another panel of judges, and those judges rank those presentations from first, first to third place. Each team that competes has three to four students on it, and at least two, two different health professional disciplines are represented on each team. Um, in the past, as you can see on the slide here, some topics that have been addressed in previous years have been public health disparities, maternal and infant mortality, the opioid crisis, mental health care, childhood obesity, rural health care, and burnout on health care teams. The cases are written in such a way that the problems can be approached from a systems level and from various different perspectives that are brought by the different health professionals represented on each team. And additionally, the problems presented in the cases are very complex with no real definitive right answer. And so the students are tasked with providing multifaceted and innovative solutions. Every year, the judges have a rubric that they use to help evaluate um, teams, both in terms of presentation content and style. And then additionally, there is a 10 minute Q&A session that follows each team's 15 to 20 minute presentation and judges evaluate teams on that Q&A portion of the presentation as well. So as I mentioned before, Clarion has a very strong student representation. Um, so looking back since 2019 at our case competitions, we've had more than 224 students um, who have participated from across the United States. Um, and within that, more than 16 health professional programs are represented in competition participation. Um, and then since 2019, we've had anywhere from 10 to 18 institutions participate at each competition. And then to give you a broad overview, here is a list of all the institutions who have participated at Clarion um, since 2019. Um, and I'll just note that some institutions come back year after year, and it's so awesome to have them back on our campus participating. And we really encourage new institutions who haven't participated before um, to register and, of course, reach out with any questions um, if it's your first time participating. 
This slide goes through the professions that we commonly see competing in the national case competition. So you'll see that we have students come from disciplines all the way from audiology to veterinary medicine. So it's a very diverse group of professions and they all get to work and problem solve together, which is really cool and a very unique opportunity for a lot of students that come. So why compete? Um, not only do students get the chance to work with students that they likely otherwise wouldn't meet, but they also get to practice their problem solving skills on really complex healthcare issues in an innovative way and in realistic settings. In recent years, the Clarion Student Board has developed this sort of closed loop model for case writing. So the case is based in a real life healthcare organization. Students will work to solve an issue that that organization is truly facing. And then representatives from that healthcare organization often serve as judges. So that way, whatever healthcare organization the case is based in and the students competing actually mutually benefit one another. And then in addition, um, students get to develop several skills like time management and public speaking, and the first, second, and third place teams get to go home with a monetary prize as well. So a few important dates to keep in mind as you're thinking of registering for Clarion. Um, registration is open now, so it opened back at the beginning of October. Um, we really encourage institutions to reach out and ask questions now so that you can register as soon as possible, and that'll allow you time to start getting your travel plans in place and start um, finalizing your team members. Um, and then the registration deadline is January 18th, and one important note I have um, is that you do not have to have all of your students identified who will be participating, you can register and then continue to develop your team after that point. So after registration closes on January 20, 20th, we will release the case and guidebook. And then the national case competition dates are April 12th and 13th. Friday the 12th is a day where we will have interprofessional programming. Um, so in the past, and part of our plans for this year is to partner with campus um, organizations to provide those interprofessional experiences. Um, so we've partnered with M Simulation and our health sciences libraries to create those interprofessional experiences. Um, and they work to tie the current year case to those experiences. Um, so we really encourage institutions to plan to travel and be here for that Friday so that your students can get the most well-rounded experience. And then that Saturday the 13th is the day of the case competitions. Um, and if you want to look more at specific dates and more um, details regarding all of these dates, feel free to visit our website directly. So we've gone through some reasons to compete, but before we end our brief presentation here, we wanted to also share some uh, participant testimonials with you. So over the years, we've heard very positive feedback from students as a competition has given them a chance to learn about specific healthcare organizations, complex issues that they don't necessarily get the chance to dive deeply into within their curriculum. Um, we hear that they develop skills that they're going to carry with them into their careers once they actually enter the field. But most of all, um, our students have really appreciated the relationships that they're able to develop through the competition. Um, we set up the national competition in such a way that promotes connections, not only among team members, but also between teams. So the competition weekend has a lot of built-in time for students to network with each other across different institutions and with the judges, which has been something that we always hear is a highlight. Um, Abigail mentioned some of those opportunities that we have on Friday, and then obviously the competition is on Saturday. We also have dinners on both Friday and Saturday night, so we really try to develop as many opportunities throughout the weekend as possible for students to just get, one, get to know one another and develop those lasting relationships. So it is a very fun weekend, and we hope to see you there. Awesome. And so that is the wrap on our recorded presentation going over Clarion. Um, obviously, we won't have a live Q&A during this recording, but we really encourage you to reach out. Our email is clarion at umn.edu, and we're happy to talk with you either over email or setting up a Zoom session as well. Thank you so much. Thanks.